That's a big old tree root it right sure there. sure is. Wow. Really and big. it was uprooted. It seems like the wild weather has been nonstop this week from the flash floods, which really softened the ground, and then a possible and likely tornado that blew over trees. Seems like it's been nonstop all summer. Yeah. So the storm yesterday bringing the, these massive trees down and uh, power lines as well. Eric Ritchie has been in Gloucester now for a couple of hours. He just took us on a tour of one area that was really affected yesterday. Yeah, and now we're just up the road, Pat. This is where the DPW has begun the daytime cleanup. The chainsaws have been buzzing. You see them working right over here, the large pieces of equipment. They are doing everything they can today to clear the roadway as much as possible. That's their responsibility to make sure that drivers can get through. Uh, the stuff that is on the property of the homeowners, however, that's their responsibility to clean up. But hey, listen, I talk about the daytime cleanup because really this has been going on since last night. I just spoke with a woman who lives nearby here. She said these roads were not even passable last night. Take a listen. It was a mess. It looks a lot better than it did yesterday because there was trees across the um, road and everything you couldn't get through. So it's, it's amazing. I never saw anything like this. Yeah, that's been the general sentiment for anyone in this northwest quarter of Rhode Island that yeah. witnessed what happened around 5 o'clock last night. Places like here in Look Foster, Gloucester, Situate, that's Cumberland, that's Smithfield, Lincoln, all being overcome by those strong swirling winds, heavy rains, dark clouds. Really, we saw it play out on Route 146 and 116. Also video at the Central Airport, the North Central Airport in Smithfield, capturing really what looks like that funnel cloud in the distance. Just really fascinating and, and breathtaking to see. Unfortunately, not necessarily the case if you were affected by it here. And so as we come back live, you can see the uh, the large piece of equipment here. They're attaching that chain to the tree. They're going to be working to remove it from the area so that they can begin to clear everything that's here. Now, let me go ahead and show you just to my left here. This is a property that abuts Bungie Road here on the Gloucester North Smithfield line. You can see the size of the trees that have been taken down. One family we spoke with just next door said they contacted their insurance company and they're going to go ahead and send a tree company out as soon as they possibly can. Good news here, guys. The lights just came back on, so they are seeing some progress. And we have learned that the National Weather Service will be in the area starting in Attleboro and Plainville uh, at 9 o'clock this morning, making their way this way after that. That's the latest live in Gloucester, Erica Ritchie, 12 News. Much better morning commute than last night's evening commute was, and that's when that possible tornado blew through the northwest part of the state. Yeah, so here in Lincoln behind us, you can see the press box of the high school stadium toppled over. In places like Foster, Gloucester, Situate, Cumberland, North Attleboro, there were trees and power lines that came down. Everybody, Erica Ritchie live in Gloucester right now, surveying some of the damage this morning. Erica. All right, guys, chippers and chainsaws. That's the melody of the morning here on Bungie Road in Gloucester on the North Situate line. Hey, but you know what? It is music to the ears of people who live here. Let me go ahead and show you. Uh, we've moved down the road since last I saw you here. You can see some of the residents showing their best to clear what they can with the tools that they have. And then look at the backyard, if we can, over in this neighbor's yard. You just see a line of trees just lying down. Quite a mess to have to deal with, begin to clean up. Many of the residents here say they've contacted their insurance companies, and they've assured them that they're going to be sending tree companies out because if it fell on their property, they're responsible to take care of it. DPW has been working just down the road here to clear this tree that had fallen. You see that it's uprooted, some of the logs still lying in the side of the road. But this is... A hundred times better, according to residents, than what it was last night. They were home around 5 o'clock, just about all of them, as they saw these swirling winds and debris come flying through. Take a listen to how they describe the scene. We started to see the trees swirling around, and I said, let's get in the basement. And then you heard the whole train sound. It just cleared everything. Yeah. We had trees on both sides of the road, next door, on this side, and it just... Went Power through lines hearing. down, and on our roof right there is pieces. We don't know where that came from. 
and the Gouldens House guys just down the road past this DPW truck. They tell me their power just came on within the last hour or so, so they were really happy about that as they can begin this process of cleaning up. Now, we're told that the National Weather Service, who's the one who'll be able to confirm if this damage was caused by a tornado, they're going to start surveying the area around 9 o'clock, just about a half an hour from now, starting in the North Attleboro Plainville area and then making their way here through Northwest Rhode Island. So we'll have a better idea of when we see again at noontime what exactly caused all of this that we're seeing here. That's the latest now live in Gloucester. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.